And starting tomorrow, walk-ups will be welcome at FEMA's clinic in Center City. But there is a catch. The shots are only for Philadelphians who live in specific zip codes. The city health department insists you will be turned away if you don't qualify. NBC 10's Danny Freeman joins us from the Pennsylvania Convention Center with those details. Danny, fill us in. Listen, since the start of this particular vaccination site, we've seen people try to be walk-ups. People try to get leftover vaccines at the end of the day or just try to slip in. But the reality is, at this point, this is will be the only mass vaccination center who will offer walk-ups aside from the Black Doctors COVID-19 Consortium. And people are excited about it today. For the next six days at the convention center, that's March 17th through March 22nd, we will be doing a, a hybrid model. Philly's FEMA-run mass vaccination site at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Center City has vaccinated over 79,000 people, the majority through appointments and links scheduled to the city's vaccine interest form. But today, Philly Public Health Commissioner Dr. Thomas Farley announced for the next six days, half of the 6,000 daily vaccines available here will go to Phase 1A and 1B walk-ups. But not for everyone. These are strictly just for people who live in the 22 zip codes that are the most under vaccinated, the lowest vaccinated 22 zip codes in the city. Dr. Farley says these zip codes on your screen are the least vaccinated zip codes in the city. And he hopes opening up the convention center to people from these parts will cut down on vaccine inequality. Overall, of the people vaccinated through all the days so far, 13% have been African American and 11% Hispanic. Furthermore, he says eligible Philadelphians who have been given appointments via email or phone are slipping through the cracks. We know that getting an appointment is a barrier for many people. I tried to go online and several numerous times. Crystal Williams from South Philly says walk-ups would definitely help folks she knows who've had trouble getting their shots. Because if they were near time and they can make their own schedule, they should just walk up. Rather than scheduling, then something come up and they can't make it or whatever. It's better just be able to just walk in. Expect that you may have to wait, and you may have to wait outdoors. So come dressed for the cold. But as we've seen, for a shot at a shot, people are willing to wait. Back out here live, you can see plenty of activity right now at the convention center. I should also say you can find all of those zip codes on our website, NBCPhiladelphia.com. Dr. Thomas Farley says that if you want to get one of these shots, you will have to provide proof of residence either with an ID or with a bill, perhaps, but they will say they will turn people away. Meanwhile, coming up at 6, I speak with a Philadelphia City Council member who's elated about this development but still warns that accessibility will still be a challenge. Live from the convention center, Danny Freeman, NBC 10 News.